in an examination number of students who passed and number of students who failed were in the ratio 25 is to 4 if one more student had appeared and passed and number of failed students was 3 less than earlier ratio of passed students to failed students would have become 22 is to 3 what is the difference between number of students who initially passed the examination and number of students who failed the examination so we actually need initial difference between passed and failed students here initial ratio of passed and failed students is 25 is to 4 which means initial difference between passed and failed is equal to 25 minus 4 21 which means your answer should be a multiple of 21 so check for multiple of 21 in the option here instead of multiple of 21 check for multiple of 7 in the option when a number is divisible by 21 it should be divisible by both 7 and 3 7 goes one time in 13 remaining 62 so 62 is not a multiple of 7 7 goes one time in 12 remaining 56 56 is a multiple of 7 7 goes two times in 14 remaining 34 34 is not a multiple of 7 7 goes two times in 15 remaining 10 10 is not a multiple of 7 so option 2 is your answer just by option verification you got your answer initially ratio of past and failed students was 25 is to 4. Finally, ratio of past and failed students became 22 is to 3. I can write it as 25x and 4x and 22y and 3y. Now, difference between past and failed students initially 25x minus 4x which is 21x. So, this is our answer. And you can also form equations. That is, when one more student appeared, Number of failed students was 3 less than the earlier, which means difference between initial and final failed students is 3. That is 4x minus 3y. 4x minus 3y here is 3. Same way here, difference between past students, initial and final, means one more student added and he passed. And number of failed students is 3 less, which means 3 plus 1. 4 is the difference between past students finally and initially. So you can form equations with these two datas.